In April 2017, the FCC incentive auctions sold portions of the 600 MHz band to mobile data providers and other buyers. The auction results limit the sections of the 600 MHz band you are permitted to use for operating wireless microphones and in-ear monitor systems in the United States. If your wireless devices can tune in the 600 MHz band, it's a good idea to make a plan for how to use them going forward. To help with this transition, Shure developed a free tool that converts supported Shure network devices to new frequency bands. These new frequency bands let you keep using your existing gear in the remaining portions of the 600 MHz band that were not included in the auction. These sections of the 600 MHz band are still available for wireless devices. The US 600 MHz conversion tool is available in the latest version of the wireless workbench software, and it includes step-by-step -step instructions to help you convert your devices. The conversion tool only works with these network Shure devices in the following frequency bands. Non-network Shure devices, such as BLX Wireless, cannot be converted. The frequency band conversion process is permanent, and you should only use it if you plan to operate devices in the United States. Once converted, the new frequency bands may use spectrum between 614 and 616 MHz, or between 653 and 663 MHz, which are still open for wireless devices to use. In these ranges, the FCC limits the maximum RF power output level to 20 milliwatts. Remember, converting to new frequency bands is a permanent change. Before you convert any devices, read more about the process, the new frequency bands, and the incentive auction on our website.